Yeah, good morning once again, and I welcome you to another edition of Rivers of Life broadcast. It's my joy and privilege to be bringing you the mind of God every now and then. This morning, I want to let you know that Bible says, like the sons of Issachar, they knew the times and the seasons. And not only that, but they knew what to do at any given time. And though they were few in number, Bible says the whole Israel resorted to them because they seemed to know the mind of God and um, the movement of God. This morning I have something to you that uh, uh, I've entitled The Spiritual Forecast. And it's my prayer that God will speak to us in and through this piece of scripture. Let's go to the word of the Lord, Psalm 126. Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. Third verse, and the Lord had done great things for us, wherefore we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south or the negative and they that sow in tears shall reap in joy and he that goeth forth bearing quality seed will doubtless return rejoicing with his sheep. a little exposition into the scripture that we have read as considering the historical setting or the background it's about the jews when they were taken into captivity the period was exactly 70 years in captivity and we saw that God had an intention to bring them back into their homeland but concerning the captivity what they went through the pain the anguish the suffering the misery the deprivation that they went through as a nation there was no hope for them any longer but then this scripture Puts us up to a mystery. Bible said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that are dreaming. It was like a hallucination because they never anticipated any of these things to happen. It did not actually make sense to them that once they find themselves in such a condition and within the twinkle of an eye everything changes and the lord brings some orderliness and bring restoration total restoration and recovery to the whole nation israel same thing can be aligned with the times and the seasons that we are in and it is the mind of god for us regardless of what we find ourselves and we are going through Economic, economically, socially, globally, the pandemics, the viruses, and all that is, is going on. We need to bring in such a timely word to each and every one of us that God is also orchestrating something at the background, and when He should bring an end, a total end to everything, it will seem like a dream to most of us. Now, Bible says, when the Lord brought again the captivity of Zion, it means, or it presupposes that it has happened before. And Bible said he brought it again, the relief unto the people, and it was like they were dreaming. Now, this reveals something to us this morning, and I want us to understand. Ezra, the prophet, was the time leading these people into the homeland from captivity. Back home, the walls have been broken, the temple has been bent and stripped naked. The worship of Yahweh was no more in existence. And so coming back home, it means that they have to restart the whole thing again. And that is the mystery. There must be a form of rebuilding or reconstruction that is going to take place. And we are in that same spiritual focus that I'm trying to bring to us. The church is shut down. Public places of gathering is shut down. But God is going to bring the whole thing around. And what is needed is the reconstructive effort of the people. How we are going to reconstruct the church. How we are going to get the people to come together again to continue with the worship of Yahweh. Bible says for this because it seemed impossible unto them in the, in, the, in the first start it was like a dream it was like they were ha hallucination but then Bible said then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongue was singing when this happened what we have to do is to lift up praises 
gratitude, give venerations and exerations unto the God of heaven who has done it. And it qualifies. He says, but when the Lord should bring the captivity again of Zion to an end, we will be like them that dream. It presupposes that it is the Lord only who can do that. No man can do that. No political system can do that. No ideology, no name them. Uh, 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 any, any, any movement can do it. It's only God who can do it. And Bible said, our mouths were filled with laughter. Of course, joy is the, is the, is the, is the, is the, is the health of the spirit man or the heart. And God always wants to bring joy into each and every one of us. Bible said, and the, their mouths were filled with laughter. God is about to bring a shift. He's going to bring a new move that is going to bring such a laughter and that is going to bring such a joy to the whole heavenlies that people will rejoice globally because the Lord has done it. We give praise and we give glory to the Lord. The Bible says, we will say that the Lord, it is He, Yahweh, who has done great things. God has done great things. And he says, wherefore, we are glad. Wherefore, we are glad. People of God, this is a forecast. It's a predictive you know, message that I'm sending across to us. That if there's anything that we, or any position that we should be now, we should be people who are waiting for the move of God, the hand of God to bring a total you know, turn around to whatever is happening. And the honor and the glory must be given unto the Lord. Bible says, when the Lord turned again uh, our captivity, it was like a stream in the Negev. Now, if you go to Israel, there is something that they fear most. That is the streams of the Negev. Up north, we have Jerusalem. Galilee is beyond Jerusalem. And we see that when it rains heavily, what happens is that because it slopes and it comes with such a speed, such a terrific speed across the desert and it ends up in the Dead Sea in the Negev or the south. And therefore, if you are within the regions of the Negev or the south and you see the streams coming, beloved, you can't stand in the way of that streams. Personally, I've been there and I've seen such a thing. We were blocked from going to the Negev because there was a passing water. It wipes everything because it's coming with such a torrential speed. And Bible said, when the Lord should bring our captivity to an end, it shall be with such a terrific and magnitude of speed that it will overwhelm the whole world. This is what the um, the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the psalmist is trying to put across and I'm here to allude to that I'm here to emphasize on that also the Lord is about to do something it's going to be a paradigm shift it's going to be with such a speed that it will amaze the whole world because we come to a point where our privileges have been stripped our joy has been stripped our uh, 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 you know, uh, ability to meet together our ability to enjoy our family systems to go out to public to go out for uh, you know, lunch and for breakfast and for dinners and what have you everything has been stripped and restricted but God said I'm about to bring an end to that and I'm going to restore to you totally Back to the point, when this happened, my point that I'm going to continue from the next you know, uh, segment of this broadcast or series is when the restoration comes. What are we to do? What position are we going to be to make sure that this move, this revival of the Lord will reach out onto the whole global globe before the end comes? Bible says, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. This fulfillment must come. This truth must be made practicable. I thank God that I've been able to bring you this segment and to prepare for the next. My prayer for you is, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord strengthen you. We'll continue with this message. Amen.